So let's have a look at the fuel system. Here we can see that the fuel is pressurised by the low pressure pump in the tank and this delivers fuel to the high pressure pump at an average of 5 bar of pressure. There's a low pressure sensor which feeds back the pressure reading to the engine ECU. Once the solenoid is energised and moved from its rest position over to the left, the failsafe path from the low pressure pump is closed off and the fuel is then diverted via this path, controlling the flow of low pressure fuel into the high pressure pumping element to create the required high pressure. I'm measuring the current on the supply side of the valve and I'm probing for voltage on the control unit side. As you can see, the blue line relates to the voltage and represents PWM control from the engine ECU. In this case, the valve is negatively switched, so the solenoid is energised when the pattern is at zero volts. 